first subject we were supposed to talk about yeah. is uh, energy management. So how do you deal with whatever kind of energy you need, you need on board, electricity, heating and so on? Okay. So the ship is run uh, by a diesel electric system, which means we have no gas on board. We only have one fuel, which is diesel. We have two diesel tanks, which both have a capacity of about 800-900 litres. So when we come into port, we just fill up with diesel, and that's it. From that diesel, we run uh, the engine when, when needed. Um, but the, the engine we use most is the generator, which then um, provides all the power for the domestic uses on board. So the cooker, um, so what I do is I put the generator on to cook. So that's about three, four hours a day when you're cooking three meals a day for up to 17 people. Um, when the generator is on, it then does a multiple job. So it heats up the water, it charges the batteries, um, it makes water on the water maker if, if we're on a long passage. Those batteries that it charges then do another set of jobs. So they provide all our lighting on board, they um, power the fridge and the freezer and all the 12 volt system. So it's a really efficient system. From one generator we can cook and it powers all our needs on the on board of the ship. Okay, uh, on an estimate for a passage like the one we've just done from England down here to Dwardene, how much fuel would you use? Um, what do you want to know? Cut. <laughs> so in this trip we've used about 12 litres of fuel to, for all our domestic use. Oh, that's amazing. And then down here is where we cook. So this is the galley. Um, like I said before, we cook on diesel electric. So this is our stove, just a normal catering stove and oven. Um, the one difference, we have to put the generator on to use it. And that's over there behind you, Brad. There's a little switch. And you have to you just, just like a uh, very simple, everyone can do it. Generator's on. And so now we have mains electric. Um, so the cooker works, the electric kettles now work just like in a house. Then when we turn the generator off, we're back to our 12 volt systems. The second thing, it's about supplying. Yeah, you, you take long passages. Is that a fridge or is it just an ice box? It's a fridge. It's a fridge, but it's small, so you don't have a lot of capacity to store. It's bigger than it looks. Okay. Um, and it's very well insulated, so it doesn't need a lot of power. It's a really clever design by a company called Penguin and they, we made the fridge and freezer to fit the space and then they made the plate to bend around our design and it's cooled by the seawater. So um, there's a anode on the outside, and it looks like an anode, so it's a sintered bronze plate on the outside of the hull which then has a massive surface area because it's all like crushed bronze and then the cold water that cools all the refrigerant, which gets a little 12 volt pump, pumps it around the fridge. So we have a, a really brilliant fridge freeze, which is just as good as a, any household fridge freezer. So this is all insulation here, and the fridge goes down about one meter. Goes down, 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 down. So it's really cool in there. And then in here is our freezer. And again, that goes down into the bilges which is the coolest part of the boat. Brilliant freezer. If we catch fish, then quite often we put it in the freezer. 